We live in a beautiful planet and it's under a lot of threat and I feel like a lot of people are not necessarily connected to the imminent urgency of the issues that we're confronting. Uh, people don't remember, you know, that we are human beings, very fragile, you know, we have a very narrow temperature range in which we can live and so as the planet gets warmer things are going to become harder for us and if I could have one wish it would be that I could retire, that I never need to take another photograph to make anybody else aware, you know, that we solve our problems. In, in the beginning of photography I was so excited to get a great photo and to capture that moment and then to see it in print was great and then after a while, especially working with great conservation heroes like Christina Minnemeyer, you start to realize that once you get that great image, now it's time for that image to go to work. It's not, you know, this, your job is just beginning once you've, you've clicked that shutter and captured that moment. And so that's what fuels me now. That's what pushes me beyond hypothermia. That's what pushes me beyond being really uncomfortable or, you know, eating raw seal meat for three months in a row on the sea ice and living in these conditions or taking eight years to, to finally capture this moment of the narwhals. You know, it, it's, that's what drives me now is storytelling is, is at the key of everything we do. The way that Sea Legacy works is uh, we donate our images to conservation efforts and to conservation organizations. I feel like we're a sprinkler uh, where our images go really far and wide carrying these messages and making people aware. This is the first time that actually their work is being exhibited and printed in a, in a gallery-like setting. So, and we actually are very supportive of their cause. Um, but of course, it's just, it's fabulous photography as well. I feel like we've been really busy photographers working in the field and our work has never been printed and exhibited this work before, so it's very special to have it like this for the first time. Everything we sell here, we, the profits will go back to funding more expeditions, more conservation, more awareness. You sit down on a beach looking out over the ocean, and we call it the thin blue line. Everything seems perfect. Everything's magical, this you know, beautiful white sand beach and the blue ocean. You take your mask and you lower it three inches below the surface and it's a very different world down there. You see the plastic, you see the pollution, you see the lack of fish and the overfishing and the effects it can have on coastal communities and climate change. And So that's our job now is to bring the oceans and bring the issues of the oceans to the world because not everybody's going to get to see the ocean.